At Boiketu is an ancient community in Lagos. It is a home for Awuris, who settled in the area more than 600 years ago. It is amazing to discover that they have been cut off from urban Keto by a water body for so long. For 20 years that we have been expecting bridge in Agboyitri because in the whole uh, Lagos state, if I will not say too much, Agboyi is one of the, the, uh, the holdest city or the holdest town in Lagos state. All the other places there is our farmland, which we, our ancestors, are used to farm there. But see all of them, it has become a city. And see Agboyi. Agboyi has an estimated population of 400,000 people. It has two federal wards and a vast land mass. Their major problem is the link bridge. The distance between one end of K2 to the other end is not up to 100 meters, as we've been told. But the people will have to go through a canoe ride in order to get to whichever part of the K2s they are headed to. Because of the absence of a bridge, challenges like the absence of a secondary school, industries and hospitals now arise. We want government, this president's administration, to provide secondary school for us. And also, we, don't, we have a lot of graduates in this Agboi where there is no work for them. Our fathers, the primary occupation of our fathers is fishing. So look at, looking at the water, it has been polluted by the industrial sector. So a lot of fish has been killed inside this river. So, and they don't want, they, there's no work for them. The Samuel Salam says women suffer the most from this problem, especially the pregnant ones. <laughs> The problems we go through is too much. We go through a lot of stress, taking Keno to the other side to get whatever we want. And we are no longer young. If our wife wanted to, if they are in labor, they used to go to the local uh, doctors. And if it is above their power, then we have to carry them across the water. And in, in the process, at times some of our wives are dead there. Because by the time we are trying to carry them with a boat, with this and that, before we get them to the hospital, we lost our wife at times. At times, we lost our children. Despite being surrounded by water, Agoyi residents have no access to drinking water. Because of the lack of the bridge, to, to fetch water is a, is, is a big problem. We carry kegs across. You know, when the bridge is around now, the pipe will cr cross. It will be easy for everyone else to have water. You can see this tank now. They, they bought it from the tanker. They transfer it to here. And we bought it at the rate of 100 Naira, 150. They have made appeals to successive governments. All they got for their trouble was a jetty, but no bridge. The, uh, the, um, that is a governorship candidate for uh, APC. They are here. The one for APDP, uh, they are here. And we tell them our plight. These are the problems we are having, these are the problems we are having. And the promise of heaven and us, but up to now, there's nothing. And before that government, too, government, uh, Baba, Governor Baba Tundefashola has been here, and he promised that he will be able to construct a bridge across to Agboyi for us, that he know, they, 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 to put enough for our suffering. Honorable Tunde Brahimo believes that Boi has potential that will benefit the state and is hopeful that Governor Ambode's administration will harness those potentials. During our electoral campaign, the governor assured us there was not that person, but he sent me there and I gave his words that he would, during this tenure by the grace of God, provide a vehicular bridge for Boi. I know the governor is a man of his words. What we need to be doing is to remind him and we have been doing that. I pray and I know and I'm sure by the grace of God that the governor will live up to his business. He will do the needful. Agoyi Keto, a people so close yet so far from light, waits for their salvation with great longing. Wendy Abu, TVC News, Lagos.